Thanks to everybody who made a donation in order to bring me getting a replacement camera to life. Appreciate all y'all. Thank you to every person that cash had me, gave it to me straight cash, Venmo, Apple Pay, in order to replace my camera. Here's your boy Juice Jones from Get Home Safe with another episode of Housekeeping, and it's been quite some time. So, long story short, my main camera broke. For about a month and some change, been out of the main camera, and I had a whole bunch of interviews that were lined up when it comes to these mental health discussions, wellness discussions, stories revolving around people, folks that we serve in the community, people that have real experiences with mental health episodes, people that have experiences with mental health struggles, people that have experiences with the benefits of wellness, and I was out of a camera. When it comes to a lot of the content that I make and when it comes to a lot of what we bring to life here at Get Home Safe, you got to make sure your equipment's up to date. One day I came in just to do some test shots before sitting down with one of my homies and my camera was telling me the SD card isn't working, but it was blanking out. And after a couple more tries with the camera and a couple more tries of trying to get recording by like the minute 30 second mark for about 10 tries, it will blank out and I came to realize I need to get a new camera. So my birthday came up, it was about two weeks ago and I was against the fence. I was like, do I save up the money? Do I put the money to the side? Do I get a new lens? Do I upgrade the camera that I've had so far? Is it time for me to chop it up and maybe take a break from content creation and all the interviews that we've done? And everything said no, instead of saving up the money, I decided to reach out to the community that I've been serving from about 2019 to present. And I just let them know, hey, if anybody had a donation, set the smallest amount. If anybody wanted to give anything over that, I was more than welcome. And within about two and a half weeks, because I started fundraising like five days before we got to my birthday, I raised just enough money to cover the camera. So again, for every person that gave a donation, I really appreciate it. For every person that reached out, let me know, hey, how much do you need? I appreciate you. For every person who slid me something, I appreciate you. For every person that was inquiring about what's going on that popped up, even to this day, just to cover maybe taxes, just to cover, hey, is there a payment plan? just to cover, hey, what's the next move gonna be? I appreciate every single donation. I know it's hard right now, and this money may have come from a place that people don't have it, and this money may have came from a place of people that have been waiting for me to ask, but just keeping me in mind, just asking and inquiring, just anyone who showed up, anyone who entertained us doing a sit down for lunch after, because not only am I really big on community, but a lot of these relationships that I have are relationships that I've had for years before doing content creation in the mental health space. A lot of people that I haven't been able to see since coming out of the pandemic, a lot of folks who I haven't been able to just sit across from a table or be in the same room with them and ask, what's going on with your parents? How has life been? How have, how have you been treating yourself? And what I've come to realize and what I've come to notice, especially when it comes to everything that I create, the more you create and the more you focus and the more you apply yourself, the less you get to see of the people that you care about, the less you get to see of the people around you that are one of the main driving factors towards the work that I do. So while fundraising, I got to hear so many more stories while reaching out to people. I got opportunities to sit downs. I have sit downs that are coming up in the future for people who now have families, for people that have babies, for people that got married. And I'm always a bit more on the shocked and surprised at the amount of people who not only pay attention to the work that I'm doing and the work that I've done, but the appreciation for the craft, the appreciation for my studies, the appreciation for my approach and what they've learned. And to this day, there are people who pull up at my job or people who may call me up just to say, keep going. And I, I hear every single person that tells me keep going. I appreciate every single person who reminds me that they're proud of me because a lot of the work, especially when you get busier and busier and you're creating all these ideas and I'm working with a small team that like, it is making a difference the amount of work that we've done 
So with getting this new camera and with fundraising, I've had to reevaluate, hey, what's what's a particular look that I would like to accomplish when it comes to the look for the shows? Recently this week, I got to sit down with my boy uh, from Makina Makina Media, Makina Media. Yeah, I think that's how you pronounce it, Makina Media. And Brooke pulled up and we sat down and we spent about four hours just working on lights for one concept. We spent about four hours trying to figure out what's a particular look that will set this show separately from this show. What does this emotion, this look invoke emotion? What does this do to the people that are watching what we're bringing to life in? With the new camera that we have coming in, this is the Sony A6700. What kind of looks are we gonna be able to bring to life with this lens? What kind of look are we gonna be able to bring to life with this body? What's the setting that we need to put for this camera in? Outside of what we fundraised, fundraised for, what are other concepts that we're gonna be bringing to life? Going into the middle of this year, um, in the summertime, I have a concept that I plan on really dedicating myself to. Number one, what would my work look like if we added a little bit more of a cinematic feel to everything that I've done and everything that we plan on doing? And what would it look like to really bring action items to life and when i say action items most most of the time when people think of action items they think hey this is something that i need to get done but for me the action item is what have you done and what would that look like if we sat down and really brought that to life what would it look like to really not just add a voice to the people that are attending the events or a part of the experience of defending themselves going to a boxing class going to a yoga class, going to a sound bowl class, coming to one of our mental health and outreach events that we're doing in DC. What would it look like if we put that on film? And what would it look like if we did the edits? And how can we add to the experience of what people have already intended? And how could we empower those that are already showing up and encourage the other ones that may not be making it? How do we bring them into the room? How do we make the community not only proud of the work that it's already doing, but how do we add action to the voice that's already present of those that are doing the work? And how do we set an example for those that are paying attention to us that would like to incorporate something similar to that in the community? When it comes to the business side of a lot of what we do and the fundraising side, and when it comes to putting the right resources out there i have folks who recently came up to me about a month and a half ago right before the camera broke and was like hey i need help hey my family isn't where i need them to be do you have a resource that can cover us hey right now me and my fiance me and my wife me and my girlfriend we're going through something would you know someone that we're able to sit down with and you know, just becoming more aware that this industry right now, when it comes to therapy and mental health, that there may be a lack of therapists because right now there may be certain therapists who don't want to work with couples because they feel couples are too hard. There may be certain therapists that are turned off from the idea of working with children because they feel that there's a certain wall that they're not able to overcome or parents are stepping in in the most important developmental phase of the relationship between a therapist and a child. There may be certain people that are now part of this industry that are coming to the point of do I really want to be a therapist is there a better opportunity between me taking my education of being a life coach and and my education of being a therapist and putting those two things together and creating space for more discussions of equity and financials and how does therapy play a part in that space and our habits as we're building community so with that being said I'm just really grateful. I'm grateful that folks not only believe in the work that we've done and what we've accomplished, but people are looking forward to what are we going to do next when it comes to the work that we've done here at Get Home Safe, when it comes to shows like Mental Health Monday, when it comes to concepts like In My Shoes and doing more sit downs where I can give you guys, the homies who show up here, updates on what I've been up to. When I'm off camera, just know I'm working. When it comes to housekeeping, it's not a, a series that's going to be a weekly update or monthly update. I may be gone 
for a couple of weeks, a couple of months, because sometimes the business end of things and the emotional end of things, they not only take a toll, but that needs to be the focus. And I'm not going to come here to speak on camera unless I have things to share on. But for now, I'm grateful for each person that made a donation. I'm grateful for each person that showed up to my birthday just to show appreciation so I could catch up with them. I'm grateful to each person that has made time for either my ask of their time or financials. And I'm grateful for each person who I know is going to be opening up to me very soon and what we're discussing and what does that look like on camera? What does that look like off camera? And how can I be a friend for the discussions and how can I be a person that's a part of their life and what we're looking to normalize? Life is struggle. And I've accepted that quite some time. And But life is also appreciation. Life is also sometimes picking yourself up and life is sometimes others picking you up. And what does that look like? So this has been another episode of Housekeeping. Uh, it's your boy Juice Jones from Get Home Safe. Thank you to everyone that donated for this camera. This camera, it means so much to me to be able to make this purchase and know that there were folks that were willing to give me funds to get back to point A so I could get to point B so point C exists. Um, I'm just so grateful that there are people who believe that when they fund things that we do, when we fund projects that we're putting together, when we fund concepts, that they know that money is going to be spent correctly and the concern is going to be the focus. This purchase and the donations that came with this is not only proof of the work that I've done, but even if there was not one donation, simply people giving me their time to discuss things and to catch up. That's probably one of the most beautiful parts of the process. This item cost a little bit under two G's and there were folks who believed in me enough to follow up with me on social media, to follow up with me via cell phone, to follow up with me via in person, just to say, Hey, I got you and just keep doing what you're doing. We haven't talked in four or five years, but like, I see all the work that you're doing and it's made a difference in my life. It's made a difference in my family's life. And as much as I'm working on editing right now and storytelling and how can I make the narrative better or how can I better tell someone's struggle? How can I better tell someone's triumph? How can I better tell someone's advice to the folks that show up here, the folks who I know in real life? I simply would like to just say thank you. Thank you for being a homie. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for enjoying the work that we're doing here. Get home safe in. I'm really looking forward to what we bring to life next. Uh, it's your boy Juice Jones from Get Home Safe. I know I've said that before. I know I say that all the time. But this has been another episode of Housekeeping. And uh, with that being said, peace.